We bow our heads and we unite our hearts in prayer. Let us pray. Lord of all time and space, who was and is and is to come, we worship and adore you, for you alone are worthy of our praise. There is none before you, none above you. Your glory is ever before us. And this morning we are glad to take our place alongside all those who even now on earth and in heaven are raising their voices to exalt you, lifting their minds to know you and their hearts to love you. May our worship be a fitting offering, a gift in return to the giver of every good and perfect gift. Gracious God, with thankful hearts we bow before you, believing that you love us so much that you gave your only Son into the world for us, that we might live and know life in all its fullness. We give thanks that Jesus came and lived among us, taking on our flesh with all its frailties. Gracious God, with thankful hearts we bow before you, believing that you know our situation because you lived as we live. You woke, you slept, you ate, you drank, you walked, you talked, you worked, you rested, you spoke, you were silent, you loved, you lost. We thank you that Jesus lived. Gracious God, with thankful hearts we bow before you, believing that in your precious Son, you took upon yourself our pain, our brokenness, our hurting, and our death. We thank you that Jesus died. Gracious God, with thankful hearts we bow before you, believing that in you life is stronger than death, hope is stronger than despair, light is stronger than darkness. We thank you that Jesus rose and lives. Gracious God, with thankful hearts, we bow before you, believing that you came down to us and will, according to your loving purpose, lift us up to you, now and when finally you call us to yourself. We thank you that Jesus ascended and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Gracious God, we know that we fall short of the way of life you call us to. In thought and word and deed, there's much for us to be ashamed of, much that must grieve you. Forgive us, Lord, we pray. But we know, loving God, we're not in the dark. You have revealed yourself to us in all that you have made and through your word, and most especially in Jesus, light has come. And yet we've wandered from your way as if stumbling in the dark. Forgive us, Lord, we pray. Gracious God, we are assured that we are forgiven, not because we deserve it or because we can commit to doing better next time, but by your amazing grace. Yes, by your amazing grace, you have removed our sins from us as far as the east is from the west we are forgiven lord and we rejoice all for the sake of jesus we pray amen we reach chapter 61 in our study of the book of isaiah and kenny is now going to read it for us <laughs> 